According to a brand new report from frequent insider and scooper, The Watcher, Avengers Secret Wars will not only focus on legacy heroes from the multiverse, but villains will also be a major factor. So of course we all expect a ton of legacy heroes in Secret Wars. It makes sense. Heroes fighting for what's good. But you can't really just include heroes in Secret Wars because villains also make up a major part of the entire multiverse. And that's where this report comes in. Again, the original one came at us from The Watcher, who is a frequent scooper who's dropped a ton of stuff. And again, we have yet to see if some of this is accurate or not. And as time comes, we'll see. But there's a track record here of previous scoops that were true. Others decided to add on to this in regards to what they've heard. And essentially, it looks like it's going to be what many people expected. And that's that some of these villains that are legacy villains will be the likes of Magneto from the X-Men franchise. And as they originally intended to try to put him into Doctor Strange in the Multiverse of Madness, but that got a little too out of hand, they decided to hold that back. From what seems to be some of the other rumors, it looks like we can also expect legacy Spider-Man villains also, and that's rumored to heavily be more of the Raimi side. So I would assume if you bring back anybody, you probably do Green Goblin again, because that just kind of makes sense. But also in regards to how do you use these villains and what do you do with them, I think you have to be very careful with how you approach using legacy villains, because they still got to be inherently villains at heart, but they got to realize that whatever they're doing has to be in service of saving everything. So you can't suddenly have Green Goblin again show up and then go, oh, I just want to end Spider-Man and everybody else. That doesn't make sense, because if you think about it, why would he do that when he knows everything's about to end? So I think whatever villains they pick as part of this legacy villains roster is gonna be more of a, we gotta be real careful with how we present each character. And we gotta pick the right villains that make sense for the story and what they're doing here and how they're gonna play into the bigger plot of everything going on. Because again, you can't just toss in a villain like let's say Red Skull. I mean, he's just evil for the sake of evil. You can't give him a redemption arc. So you really got to be careful with legacy villains. And I do think that there's enough of them in the other franchises to be able to bring them in and have them make sense. But again, it's going to be a bit of time till we hear about who they could potentially be bringing in and what the ultimate use and goal will be with these villains. Because again, you got to give them enough time, but also you got to make sure that they make sense. So we'll see. Um, I'm interested in quite a few villains showing up. I would also like it if they used maybe the Fantastic Four's Doctor Doom or Silver Surfer from the old films, but who knows? Um, they can really reach far and wide. I mean, there's tons of films. They should just bring in the villains from Blade. Not Dracula, though. That was, that was terrible. <laughs>